his half. Third and goal. Rolling right up the gut. Did he make it? No, he's stoned. The previous play is under further review. From from our vantage point up here, it didn't look like he got no. in. No, no, he didn't. Now remember, it's where the ball is located. Okay, and they get not a Cotton Moyo with the initial stop. The ball never got there. What a play by Jevin Miller. Fans are reacting to where they believe the shoulder pads and head were located, but see where the ball is. And it didn't get there because Miller made certain of it. 55. A goal line shot. I think you probably, whatever you call, you stay with. A little bit surprised you didn't review the, the fumble ball play earlier. The goal line oh, play. It's a touchdown. Wow. I am shocked. I, I am a bit surprised by that as well. From that angle, I, it did not look like it crossed the goal no, line. No, it did not. And I'm sure Paul Rhodes is saying, yeah, well, that happens to us, it seems, all the time. But it's. Look, I got enemies, got a lot of enemies, got a lot of people trying to drain me of my energy, to try to take away from a nigga, fucking with the kid and pray for your nigga, I got girls in real life trying to fuck up my day, fuck going online, that ain't part of my day, I got real shit popping with my family too, I got niggas that can never leave Canada. Montgomery again, dives, touchdown. The ball came out, but I believe he had crossed the plane. Let's check. Got the ball carrier fumbling the ball prior to crossing the goal line. Holy Kansas cow. Covered in the end zone. Touchdown. Here we get a good look. It's not a great handoff to start with. Protect's got the ball outside of his hands. Uh... I think he might be over. We'll see. If it is a fumble, it would be their first lost fumble. The first lost fumble of the year. No team has ever gone an entire season without losing a fumble. I thought at first glance he was across. That this is not going to be a fumble. This is going to be a touchdown. I at review, ruling on the field stands. Oh, my goodness. Here's a huge play, third and 15. Pressure coming, back shoulder throw in, complete the flag. Well, let's take a look at it. Here he's trying to shake off man coverage. Peavy's head on him. Well, he's got his hands on him. Good job of acting right there, acting like you pulled him down. Oh, Stiff. man. Texas gets big in the formation. On the ground to Gray. Gray pushing. Stopped short. Now, Iowa State is running out with the football. Jeremiah George has the ball. Let's see what they call it. The ruling on the field is the runner was down by contact. You can't review well, for progress. Back down. Well, well, well. It, it looks pretty there nice. like the ball comes out. Back to Gray. Gray. The ball is down again. Ball is loose on the field again, and they stop short of the goal line as the clock is still ticking. Oh, he's out. That's a, that's he a lost fumble. It. It's a fumble. Now, so you got it, now the immediate, an immediate action if there's a recovery. Oh, wow. McCoy keeps it. Case McCoy. It looked as if he got in. Touchdown, Texas. What'd you witness tonight? Were a couple teams playing their hearts out, and you could argue both deserve to win the football game. I've got the privilege as the head football coach of this football program to face my players, win or lose. And look him in the eye. And feel how proud I am of the work they put forth, the effort they gave tonight. And to make a play on the one yard line with their backs against the wall, clearing everybody. And have it taken away from them.
it's hard to express. You don't just put an arm around a guy and tell him it's okay when that happens to him. So proud of the effort my kids gave to win this football game tonight. Several controversial calls. Who did they call offside? You tell me who's offside on that. They the called kick the kick itself offside. I thought they said 90 88. 11 seconds to go. Johnson's going to drive. Johnson's going to drive. Loose ball, battle for it. On the this is either a block or a charge. Take a look. That has to be called. That has to be called. Iowa State is up by two, and the referees make no call on this play. Then, in the ensuing scramble, the Zebras call a reach-in foul on the Iowa State kid who got bowled over. Reach-in. Kansas uses the two free throws from that to get to OT and win the game. Tony, is there any conclusion to draw here other than that Iowa State got hosed? In a word, no. They got absolutely hosed. The, the kid, this is a classic charge, 100 times out of 100. Always seeming to me, Kentucky, Kansas, North Carolina, Duke, UCLA, they always get this call. Why doesn't Iowa State ever get that call? And if you get denied that, then you look at the outside. Clyburn makes the shot. And I think they called the offensive foul, Jim. I thought I saw a signal first where they're going to count it. No, they're not going to count the basket. Oh. Offensive foul on Clyburn. His third foul. And they say Kraft got there. The state this year, they had no true freshman play last year. Now show for the final play of the first quarter. Makes a five three incompletion, but it won't be an But he did turn back to look at the football, and the, the contact looked like it was incidental. That's what Paul Rhodes is arguing about. He's going to call That's what he's saying. It's incidental contact. Pass interference. Double move on the outside. Now watch. Tribune gets him on his hip. I mean, he's allowed to get position when he turns back. Oh, they called him down, though. Yeah. They called him I, down. I, th I thought he was in the grasp. Oh, they called it a catch. <laughs> and Paul Rhodes is about to lose it. Check that. He already has lost it. <laughs> Don't read lips. If you're at home and you're underage, he is not a happy guy. <laughs>